and what's better not to talk about really than what the Raptors is doing because you guys are pretty yeah. big Raptor fans. So oh, what's yeah. going on with the Raptors? Tell me, what's going on? Uh, I don't even know what to tell you right now. Okay, let's start with that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, they've had their ups and downs, right? But we've seen better days, but... What's uh, going through this uh, month right now? This month, just DeMar. The, the past... The missing DeMar. Missing DeMar. Order. DeMar is the, is the Raptors. We need him. If we don't have him, we're not going to succeed, right? And I mean, that's the problem right now. Most fans would say that Lowry is more important, or at least the fans that watch him a lot. But DeMar is the number two option. He's the top scorer for the team. The offense should go through him, if not Lowry. We've and seen De- this happen before, though, yeah. in the sense of when DeMar went down last, uh, not last, but a few years, yeah, season two ago, years ago, yeah. and Lowry took over and carried the team, right? Do you see that happening right now with Lowry's performance, or do you see that that could be happening in terms of what Lowry could be doing in terms of... He's you know. trying to. Hmm. He's definitely trying to, because he's still averaging, like, what, like 37 and 5 right now? Hmm. He's putting in work. He's trying to bring the team up, but he can't do it right now. Honestly, he is doing it, but the, all the all the other teams are noticing he's that number one guy right now because Lamar's down. And so the defense is kind of collapsing, collapsing on, on him. Defense, so they yeah. need someone to step up, like either yeah. if, either if it's going to be uh, Patterson, if he's not coming off the bench or not, or Demar or Demar Carroll yeah. and uh, Norman. Like those guys got to step up. Like no, need, it doesn't need to be them. It needs to be Jonas. We need to go to Jonas right now. He true. should be the number three option, and right now that Demar is out, it should be number two for him. Mm. But the thing is, I don't know, Jonas doesn't feel like, you know, he's not playing like no, he did he, in uh, the beginning of the season. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. he was aggressive on the board, scoring, and now he just, like, kind of stepped back a bit, let Demar and Kyle hold everything down. And, and just, that's why we're in the skate right now, because Kyle Lowry's trying to do so much because Jonas is stepping up and being the second option. So many fans think he should be, like, the number one option for the Raptors, and he's not showing it right now when he has the opportunity. Yeah, that's the thing. He really needs to step it up, like, honestly, because yeah. now everyone's talking about trading block and all that. And if he, he's dropping his value, yeah. right, because how he's been playing. But, like, honestly, I do like him. I want him to succeed. He's a great guy. We need him. Oh, but yeah. he's not playing how he was playing in that first two months of the season. And we really need that because if we want to succeed in the playoffs, we need him to step up. Because yeah. remember how he played against Anthony Davis against New Orleans? He played like an all-star. He showed the MVP candidate that he's a better he player. He's an all-star. He's an all-star <laughs> reserve. Yes, yeah, it's true. Uh-huh. Well, I'm saying Jonas. He's not an all-star. Yeah. No, oh, he should be. He should. Yeah. So do you guys feel like um, since, you know, with the slide that the Raptors is going through right now, do you think a lineup change would help? Or, or uh, in the sense of, you know, who starts, who really meshes together? Because I've, I've had, you know, my point of view was that I felt like with how the NBA is right now or how the pace and how the game is, I, it mm-hmm. felt to me that... It's good to have JV coming off the bench and you have Nagara playing, you know, the, the center, which is what most centers right now are in the NBA. You have a big man that can move, that can block shot, that can run the floor. And off the bench, you have your big man that can, you know, that can be the main focus, like, a, like what they did with uh, Greg Monroe coming off the bench, oh, yeah. what they did with Al Jefferson in, 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 uh, in Indiana, yeah, right. or Zach Randall. So they have their yeah. bigs that are, you know, they're kind of slow defensively or that can't really run with, you know, the, most of the team in the NBA, come through the bench and be the main focus in the offense. Do you guys feel like the Raptors could try and do that? I think if we take Jonas out, I feel like it's going to hurt him more, in my mm-hmm. opinion, because he needs to start to get him in the game early that's the thing. Raptors need to get him in the game early, and that's when I think he performs best. Usually it takes a little bit, about five minutes into the first quarter till he finally kind of gets his footing, gets the game going. But other than that, like him off the bench, I really think it will affect his play and stuff. So I think he's better off just starting for now until just be careful on the fouls. Those little fouls he's doing a little bit. He's like, been in foul trouble. That's yes, a lot of fouls. Yeah, what yeah, I yeah. noticed cause just because of how most teams right now are just fast-paced, right? Yeah. How do you feel like, in terms of... I mean, it wouldn't be the worst idea, but it's always the worry that we don't always bring Jonas into the offense. And also, he's not aggressive enough to get into the offense. Wouldn't that be a good idea when you have him coming off the bench that the moment he comes on, Lowry and DeRozan are off. So you have Terrence Ross and him. He's technically the best player off their second unit, and he'll yes. be the main focus. And but he's had those opportunities before. We have had played four bench play guys with Jonas, and he still doesn't step up in those situations. It, in, in, in a sense. Like, so that's why it, I don't know what the, what's going on with the Raptors. And I feel like, you know... It's, they yeah. could try different things because they, they, their signing with Jared Sullinger hasn't worked out so far. Not so, not yet. A, and their, their Mari Carroll was supposed to be their 3 and D, like, and he hasn't really stepped up. He's kind of playing defense. Yeah. yeah, and the thing is, I think he's still trying to bounce back from his injury from last season. Mm-hmm. So hopefully maybe by playoffs, we'll have him at 110% 
ready for playoff action because like we're going to need him, especially on the defense end, just like you said. Yeah. Yeah. Defense is going to be very key for us. That's Not just defensively too, no. but to hit big shots on the. He's going to be. Shots, the, yeah. He's going to be the open guy, the spot up guy yeah. for them because Lowry and DeRozan are very. Um, ISO and driven heavy. And they're going to kick it out to exactly. someone on the But that is actually right? one of the biggest issues right now in our skit is that our shooters aren't hitting shots. So we got Damari struggling, Terrence Ross struggling, and even Patterson's okay. He's only kind of doing well, like him and Lowry, but we need the other shooters to actually step up and score for us. Mm -hmm.